Hello and welcome to David Photography. Today we're still in logs and when I said when we came to the marina that there were some anchors to take in the car park I wasn't kidding. Let's have a look. Now, as I said, we're still in logs. So, this is the path from the car park near the four big anchors, and it continues for quite a way in this direction. Now, I'm probably quite a way along, but we seem to have run out of that. There is actually, they've spaced out anchors all the way along this path right beside the marina which is here yeah, these are all the transports and stands for the boats but there is a number of anchors going from different ages so I've took quite a few pictures of them as I've walked along but I thought that I'll share it with you it's something that you don't normally take pictures of and it's things that you don't normally come across very often so we did start off here with there is a seat made out of two small boys like this So the path continues that way. We're going to head back towards the car now. So, as you see, we have the path. It, it is proper path and people bring their dogs and come walking along here. It actually parallels the road which is just over here might hear the noise of the traffic. We have some more floats or little boys here. For more in the boats too. And as you see the paint's coming off them so you've got texture and you've got the plants growing in between them. As we work along the path back towards the car now, we come across more floats where someone's decided to put happy faces on these. And this is one of the big anchors. They all have little signs with them saying what they are. Well, all except this one. But this does open up lots of close angle, different directions, type of pictures. Instead of just taking all the often straight on everything, maybe just take one small part of it. So as I said, this works way back to the car park and so therefore you can do both at the same time. There's even yeah pipes. Do 
just littering the place around. It runs all the way along here. Taking it, it's probably going to make be sewage or it may be gas. Hard to tell. Um, but the path isn't very wide. In this side, this big nasty looking thing wall is actually where the train line is which doesn't really I don't think actually goes anywhere um, but on the side we have the marina so you get to see all the boats they're all covered up now since it's now in November they probably don't want to go out and do anything with their power boats some people will still come on and probably the Saturn Sunday and probably do some sailing. So that is also probably a good time if you want to see and catch some boats with their sails up and things like that. If you want to take some pictures of that. But as I said, each of the anchors from this bit actually have their names and when they were used. written on them so you have some idea of the age and that lot of course the grasses and all of the plants are starting to cover them over a bit more so you're not going to have a nice clean picture around the base but you're still going to get Scoopanka 1940. This is quite wide if looking from one side to the other from here going all the way across. That is quite a quite a span for it. But as you see it doesn't have a very nice background to it. You've got the fence and that lot so when you're looking at the different anchors and where they are, it's what the background looks like. We've got weights and sinks here. These are the weights down here. These are the weights. There's the chains. So there is different things on this little short walk now as I said the, path, the road path does go on it goes all the way into the next little place but you're not going to probably want to walk that far maybe but there is some interest on this walk when you take it so there is something to take pictures of and there is something for you to have a little walk with of the train line you just about see the the tracks and you might just see the odd car going past to show how close the road actually is it is pretty close um, but there you go there's something else I'll put up a couple of the images that I've took another one of the anchors there well hidden within the brambles and the bushes. So, there is not just the standard things to take pictures of, and it is always best to look for something which is a bit more unusual. So, have a look at the pictures I've took. You're probably not going to like them anyway. They're only anchors, so what, what can you take from that? So, 
it's just to more open your mind to the pictures that there is around you and you don't always have to take the standard to things now hope you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you on the next video